Donald Trump came to the Detroit Economic Club and stood there in front of the Ford Motor Executive and said, if you close these factories as you're planning to do in Detroit and build them in Mexico, I'm going to put a 35% tariff on those cars when you send them back and nobody's going to buy them. It was an amazing thing to see. No politician, Republican or Democrat, had ever said anything like that to these executives. And it was music to the ears of people in Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. He's saying the things to people who are hurting. And it's why every beaten down, nameless, forgotten working stiff who used to be part of what was called the middle class loves Trump. He is the human Molotov cocktail that they've been waiting for. The human hand grenade that they can legally throw into the system that stole their lives from them. Although they lost their jobs, although they've been foreclosed on by the banks, next came the divorce and now the wife and kids are gone. The car's been repoed. They haven't had a real vacation in years. They're stuck with a shitty Obamacare bronze plan where you can't even get a fucking Percocet. They've essentially lost everything they had except one thing. The one thing that doesn't cost them a cent and is guaranteed to them by the American Constitution, the right to vote. They might be penniless, they might be homeless, they might be fucked over and fucked up. It doesn't matter because it's equalized on that day. A millionaire has the same number of votes as the person without a job. One. And there's more of the former middle class than there are in the millionaire class. The dispossessed will walk into the voting booth, be handed a ballot, close the curtain, and take that lever or felt pen or touch screen and put a big fucking X in the box by the name of the man who has threatened to upend and overturn the very system that has ruined their lives. Donald J. Trump. They see that the elites who ruined their lives hate Trump. Corporate America hates Trump. Wall Street hates Trump. The career politicians hate Trump. The media hates Trump. Trump's election is going to be the biggest fuck you ever recorded in human history.